These are called anchors, anchor columns. And when you click on this tool over on the right side, it's got a little triangle on it, it will flip the, the part down to the bottom view for you because what you're doing is you're connecting little anchors to the bottom of your part. And it's really easy. You just do a couple clicks. I personally love to do a triangle in the corners. That, in my experience, is just the cleanest, simplest way. I don't have to think too much about how well it's going to work. So far, when I use this pattern, it just works. You can also, of course, go up the side as you as you feel like you'll get you'll get to know your parts. Now, what this does and why it's useful, I'm going to tell you while this is slicing so we can see what it's doing. Especially on big, bulky, thick, chunky parts that you're printing with a high density infill or a solid infill, and most especially on the, like the nylon materials or the Antero materials, even Ultem, I found I really needed to help hold these parts down. Because as you, you print the parts with melted high temperature plastic, they cool a little bit as each layer goes on. That cooling is constricting and pulling on the layers below it. And that can cause corners to pop up and curl then as the tip goes over top of it, it, it drags and it makes the surface look terrible. And it could even clog up the tip and damaging the tip or just causing the part to fail. Now, excuse me, the, I designed this part real quick just as a representation of when I really first learned the value of these. It was a shape very similar to this, just a big nylon bucket. Uh, the customer was using it with a lot of chemicals, so it needed to be nylon. It needed that chemical resistance to it, and it, it needed to basically be a big bucket. So we couldn't change a lot in terms of the design to help get this to print really well. We could print it in brick mode. That raises the temperature and helps with, with the printing. But then we also started adding these anchor columns in the corners. And you can see with this bottom view, it's uh, we're looking at the bottom layers of the support material. It's printing model material through the base of support material down to the print surface uh, of, the, of the tray. Oh, let me get that back here. Go back to our bottom layer. So that anchors, hence the name, anchors the, the model material, which is gripping a lot harder to the print, print surface, hence the need for a support base. Uh, it, it creates that separation part without damaging your, your part. And as it drills down through that print surface and, and anchors to it, it uh, just goes up through the support layers, and then there's our part, right? So it's only going through those support layers. And then when you're done printing these, it's really easy to take a, a good chisel. I prefer a chisel because it's it's stiff, it's sharp, and I can just tink, 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 pop those off. It leaves very little mark, uh, marring on the bottom of the part there. And, uh, but you can use other hobby knives and things. Just, you know, be, care be careful, use safety with those sharp objects. Um, but it's a very, very efficient, effective way to anchor and hold down the corners of those print jobs, especially with those high temperature materials that really tend to warp and, and get you good, clean, better prints the first time, I'll go through and I'll anchor parts that I just see as really big. The, the first time I print it, rather than waiting until it fails before I add these columns in. So, uh, John, oh, Jonathan said, please feel free to chat. I was like, yay, question. <laughs> uh, yes, please feel free to, to throw in any, any questions or comments. Um, we we love that it helps 
it helps you get more out of out of our little presentations too. And so that's what I have for anchor columns. Now there are two options here under the income anchor columns. There's the cylindrical style, and then on the right side is a conical style. The conical style is if you're reaching out past the base, if there's like an archway built into uh, an edge of your part, that conical style can reach up from the base to uh, a higher element to, to anchor it down. Uh, and that is anchor columns.